Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my guests are Karen Nolte, who is the CEO of Family Forward, and the Chief Development Officer, Jessica Dieter. Welcome back, Jessica and Karen. Thank you. Um, so we've been talking about Family Forward, which is the merger of two very established and wonderful organizations here in St. Louis that assist families um, uh, in a broad um, variety of ways. And um, the importance and the opportunity that you all had to bring these two organizations, the Children's Home Society, and the Family Resource Center together to um, to kind of start anew with uh, six locations and lots of employees and, and, and opportunities and services. So let's talk about what's changing between uh, with the services or what's staying the same moving ahead. Karen? I think what is staying the same are the services that we offer. Um, we are simply offering them together to make it easier and more productive for clients. So if you imagine, for example, you or your family member is struggling with something and you need services and you might go to an agency, so you might have come to one of our former agencies and you have to tell all the story about why you need help and what's going on. And then perhaps you need another service to help one of your kids and you go to another agency and you have to tell the same service again or same story again. And that's really difficult for families. And oftentimes when families are forced with those sort of challenges, they wait till the last minute. And by having our services together and allowing a much more seamless opportunity for families to work with a counselor and perhaps enroll their child in our therapeutic preschool, maybe get some support for some of their other children, they're able to do that seamlessly and they do mm -hmm. it much more quickly and easily. And that's right. really a strong, important component of getting help is not waiting until everything is a crisis. Right. So and you were saying in the last segment that your two organizations often work together with some of these families. So now you're all under one umbrella and it is more efficient and seamless, as you said. Jessica, how are clients coming to you and what kinds of challenges are they facing in their families that they reach out for help? Oftentimes family come to uh, families come to us because they, they've been recommended to us either by the state or by their physician or by a counselor at school. Mm. Um, but they can also come to us because they need a little help in some of their area, their areas of relationships between their children, uh, between the parents and the children. And so they can contact us and um, we can find out through our intake service what's the best approach for them once we get to know their situation a little bit better. Yeah. And ultimately our goal is really safer, healthier relationships for children and families. And this merger gave us the opportunity to look at what each of the organizations did and decide what do we want to be together. And it's really all about what we do for this for this community and for So kids can and you be more specific about some of the challenges that face some of your clients that um, that uh, motivates them to reach out for help? Sure. Um, so some uh, face stressors in their life. Um, the, a parent, single parent, often uh, will get calls at, at work because their child is acting up at school or didn't come to school, um, transportation issues. Those behaviors are usually indicative that something is going on. Mm -hmm. um, we are experts in trauma and assessment of trauma and then making recommendations. So sometimes we can get at the core of what really happened there and work with the family to uh, bridge those relationships and calm some of the stressors. Um, we recruit and train foster families as well, um, adoptive families, and provide supports to keep those families together. And Karen, what age are the, the children that you're working with typically? What's the age range? So we serve children from zero all the way through 21. Um, 21 is a little different from what many agencies think of as children, but if you look at children who also go through the special school district for educational services, they are served through 21, so it didn't make sense for us in our programs to disrupt their educational experience, particularly for some of the children that live with us. And so zero to 21, uh, and then their families. Very good. All right, thank you both so much, and good luck um, as you move forward with Family Forward this year. It's a big, exciting year for you. Thank Lots you. of changes. So thank you so much for joining us and sharing with us today. You can learn more about Family Forward by visiting familyforwardmo.org. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.